Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. Today I'm going to use some masking magic and the new Luck and Love card kit. I started with a piece of cardstock that measures three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. Then I cut my masking magic masking paper down to five eighths of an inch strips. And I'm placing these all around the edges of this piece of cardstock. This is gonna give me a nice wide border. Now I'm going to use two different colors for ink blending. I think this is the hardest part of the card is getting these strips down. And these strips can be reused. So I'm going to use two different colors for ink blending. I'm going to start with some turquoise sea ink and I'm going to ink this up on a diagonal going down the open space. I'm gonna start up here in the corner and just work my way down in a diagonal. Then I'm going to use my second color, which is jelly bean green. And I'm going to work my way down from the opposite corner down to this bottom corner. Now, if you don't have jelly bean green, you can use a color like Lucky Clover. You can also use grass green, or you can do this in any color combination you want. Now, I want to make sure I go over that turquoise a little bit just to make sure I blend the blue and the green together. And if you want to go back and add some more color to make it a little more vibrant, you can blend it until you feel comfortable with your blend. Okay, now once that's done, we're going to peel this masking magic paper off. And it might come off in one big piece, but if it doesn't, we'll just have that last little bit to pull off. And you can see that's given me a nice canvas to work on. So now I'm gonna use my Misty for the next step and I'm using the Frame Flora stamp set from the brand new Luck and Love kit. And I'm gonna place this stamp right over this ink blended area. And I wanna make sure that it's even, that this box in the center is even so there's the same border on both sides. So it's going to hang over the edge on one side a little more than the other, but that's okay. As long as the box is centered, it'll look perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to use some black onyx ink and I'm gonna ink this up real well. And I think I'm gonna double stamp it just to make sure it's nice and dark. So I'm gonna stamp that. I'm going to use my Chucky tool to apply a little extra pressure. And I know I say this all the time, but there's always somebody new out there that wants to know. This is a tool that was made for me by my friend Chuck. He used a furniture pad and a curtain finial, and he glued them together with Gorilla Glue, and he made me a pressure tool for my Misty. Now, if you wanna make one, you can make one yourself, or you can pick up something like an air hockey paddle, and it'll work just as well. Okay, so now I've got that stamped nice and dark. Now, if you ever have a little spot missing from your stamp, from your stamped image, all you have to do is get a pencil eraser and just tap some ink right into that spot. There we go. Okay. So now my next step is going to be to add a greeting. And there's lots of great greetings in this set that will fit this box. I'm going to use the one that says, I miss you, because I've got lots of people on my card making list that I am missing these days. So this will make a nice card for one of my friends. Okay, and once you've got that centered, then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stamp it again. You never know if it's really centered. Do you guys have that problem? <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna stamp that and I'll probably double stamp it using my Chucky tool again. Really don't need to double stamp it, but I'll do it anyway, just for good measure. Okay. So there we go. Now we have our panel. Now the next step is going to be to add this onto a black panel. And I'm gonna do that with a little bit of my ThermoWeb 
tape. Put that right on top. And then this whole panel is going to go onto a white A2 card base. That card base folded measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And we'll put that right in the middle. And that is a very clean and simple card. Now, if you want to add some disco ball sequins, you can do that. And your finished card will look like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's five minute card video and I hope you'll give this one a try. Stay tuned for more five minute card videos and more live videos too. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again real soon.